Hello and welcome. Well, even though I'm from Germany, I thought I will do an English version, or yeah, at least I will try because my English is not that good. Um, I will do an English version because this might be interesting to every owner of a video my book. I recently got my hands on three of the eight terabyte version, and yeah, as you can see, it comes in a nice black enclosure, which yeah, which looks like a book. So that's why it's called my book, I guess. Um, usually they are connected with USB 3 to the computer. And as you can see, the drive or the case is empty because I pulled all three drives and put them inside my computer. And yeah, now I have like three cases, housings left. And well, normally you would say, hey, cool, now I can most probably pull in my alt hard drives in the cases and use them as external drives. But no, you can't. Because we did something to prevent you from doing that. So I will show you. Here we have a VD Black 1 terabyte from 2008. We have the MyBook USB controller. It has power. It's connected to USB. The drive is running, of course. And as you can see, it's recognized by Windows. And it says, well, the drive has to be initialized. Initialized. And uh, whatever you choose here, it will say you, well, no, I cannot do this because you have some, or I have some strange device error. So you are not able to initialize the drive and therefore you cannot use it. I have tested like six or seven different drives, Hitachi's and Samsung's and even Toshiba, and nothing did work. The only thing, the only the only drive which works was the original one. So the eight terabyte in my case. So now I have to switch to my webcam because my smartphone cannot focus that close. And then I will show you how to modify the controller so that you can use any drive you wish in the cases. Stay tuned. So here we are. That's the controller board from the MyBook case. And yeah, you have your power connector, you have your USB 3 connector, and of course you have the SATA connector, which goes directly to the drive. And what we need to do is, on this chip here, we need to separate pin 8. So I will do manually. Yeah, there it is. So, as you can see, it says WinBond on it. It's, there's only one chip on the board which has this WinBond uh, text. So you will not miss it. Well, where is pin 8? Quite simple, every chip. For example, this one here also has a little dot, also this one here. This dot always says, this is pin one. So now you count counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So pin eight is this one, the outside one. So yeah, how you separate it, it's your own decision. I will just put this needle between the chip and you know his his silver leg and just pull it up and then yeah it's separated and I will show you how it looks afterwards. So here we are. As you can see one silver leg is missing. It have been just bended a little bit up and then it was taken away by kind of a scissor. And that's it, that's all you have to do. Just remove the connection between the chip and the board. So yeah, I cannot do any better picture with my webcam. And yeah, now we will reconnect the board to the one terabyte uh, WD black I used recently. And we will see what happens. So here's our modified controller board with the one terabyte really black hard drive 
And when you now look into Windows Device Manager, you will find a ASMT2115 USB device. It's not called WD MyBook anymore. So ASMT is the uh, AS Media chip from the controller board. And of course, now we have a one terabyte drive available, which don't have to be initialized. We just say new volume. It's German, of course. <laughs> next, next, next. NTFS is fine. Quick format. And you see, there it is. That's the one terabyte drive. And if you open my HD Tune, you can also select. There are my new drives. <laughs> um, you select the ASMT. And you know, you can just do like a benchmark or so. And yeah, the drive runs at full speed. So. That's it. Now you can plug in every drive you want. Bye-bye.